So here we have a Lihui MP9 from Zenduo Toys. This was one of my first uh, better quality blasters, I would say. Um, it was awesome that they sent it to me. It was really cool. This one had to come, this was when everything was coming from China, and since this was a little smaller, they could send it airmail, so that was cool. Anyway, really liked it. However, you're always limited to the small mag, right? You got the small mag here. It doesn't hold a ton of gel balls, so that was the only downside to it. But I liked the looks of it and liked it, so thought, let me see if we can do something with this. I've been doing a ton of M4A1 builds. You guys maybe are getting bored with them. There's still going to be a lot more, but I um, thought I'd mix it up and show you something else I was working on. So as I've looked through different 3D sites, I've seen a few different cool things for the MP9. However, I refuse to pay for 3D files because I figure I can make them on my own or figure out how to modify them on my own from free ones. And, you know, I do a lot of what they call remixing uh, different STL files and then, you know, stretching them, cutting them, manipulating them, resizing them, all that stuff. And so I wanted to go ahead and make like a carbine kit for it, which I've seen before online. And then also I wanted to make an adapter for the mag. So I saw an adapter on there that was actually to adapt the ARP drum mag and I could use a piece of that, right? And then I could take another one where, that was made to adapt an M4 drum mag for a different blaster. I can cut those, I can merge them together. And that's what we got going right here. So this is gonna allow me to use this M4A1 drum mag with the uh, MP9. So that'll be cool. Now I will kind of make it a permanent instead of making it so that this can detach just because I'll just make this all one. Um, it'll be easier for me to secure and this drum mag doesn't fit in there perfect but the way since this has the ability to load the drum mag right here by removing that this one will work out great for that so with this what I need to do is I just wire in some terminals that go on the top here right those wire down basically into these terminals and then I'm gonna go ahead I'll have to just disable that feed tube um, little notch there and that way anytime it starts calling for the, be the uh, gel balls, it's just going to you know connect here and then it's gonna just run power, run the motor, push those up. So I've done that before with the Scorpion Evo where I made one. This one's just a little more elegant, a little better because I've gotten better at doing these, right? So that should, that should turn out really nice. So hopefully it all works like it should. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out, but um, you know, it looks like it should be great. So like I said, with the carbine kit, we got this front end here. So this was actually for an MCX. Now what I did is I kind of adjusted it, changed it up a little bit. We'll do the rail on top. We'll do some long rails on the side and a rail on the bottom. And then here I actually made a piece that is the whole flame arrestor piece. So this will replace the factory one once it gets all painted. So I'll actually remove this whole black piece, right? Which you got to unscrew it and everything. This will go in there, and then it's gonna have this nice long kind of hexagon style barrel. So that's gonna all kind of stick out like that, which is what I wanted, which I thought was cool. I'm not sure on colors yet. I'll do this in orange just because it's good. It's safe to have that all bright orange. So the whole hex tube will be in orange, but then other colors, I'm not exactly sure. Now this piece here, I'd already had a hole in there because I'd made a spot for a battery box because again it comes with a small battery. Uh, the battery has to fit in here. So since that already had a hole in it and this comes with the kit where you get the two different sets, you know, you get the black set and the blue and white set, I thought well if it's already got holes in it I don't mind mounting directly to it. So that's what I'm going to end up doing there. Now in the back, previously I had made a buffer tube attachment but this was a long time ago and I had to do a lot of just manual fabrication and it doesn't look perfect, so I don't like it. So now I'm doing some prototyping where I'm gonna go ahead and have a piece like this, basically, and I'm gonna relocate the battery to the back. So we're gonna have the battery back in the buffer tube so that we can go to a bigger battery. The nice thing is my printer just updated and now it's twice as fast as it was. So printing something like this is under an hour where it used to be about two hours. And then with my old printer, say if I had done this at Thanksgiving time, it would take 10 hours. So that's kind of advancements that we've seen in 3D printing recently with some of these new super fast ones. So that's really cool because it allows me to prototype things 
and kind of you know make my own builds um my own pieces and not you know when you have to wait 10 hours you don't really want to prototype you want to make sure it ends up working if it's under an hour you don't feel so bad about this not working and having to redo some measurements and printing a new one so that'll look really nice and pretty it'll fit on there perfect slide in be able to put some bolts down through the existing and then we'll be able to have the buffer tube on there and we can relocate the battery back there so that we can use a bigger battery because otherwise you're just limited to such a small one. So that's my build plans here. Kind of it's going to be my Lahui MP9 carbine kit, I guess I'll call it. Plus we got the drum mag adapter and the battery reload. So again, this is from Zenduo Toys, ZenduoToys.com. Go check them out. They ship a lot of stuff from the U.S. now, so that gets to you, you know, in a couple days. And then they do still ship a lot from China, so just make sure you're paying attention to where it comes from. Um, you know, they can't ship everything from the U.S. because it just doesn't make sense financially. So they're trying to just ship the most popular blasters here in the U.S., all right, from the U.S. So comments or questions, let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is going to turn out really cool. I'll probably keep the blue the same, and I might just go with black for everything else, um, just since it's already black, and if I just hit it with a black to make everything match, that might be easiest, uh, but I'm not entirely sure yet what we'll do on colors. So again, yeah. So any questions or comments, post them below. Uh, please like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and participate in the monthly giveaways. Thanks.